Hi friends, today is a last day of our 21 day affirmations. Namaste to all my fellow meditators. Let us start what we can do, how we can take it forward to these positive affirmations. We have seen various topics and we have seen how we can do the positive affirmations yesterday and we will just conclude today with the for how we can take all these things forward. Just imagine how often you laminated with yourself like what you don't want. Uh, really, usually people say, I don't want to get sick. I don't want to get broke. I don't want to be fat. I don't want to live here. I don't want this relationship. I don't want this job or I don't want to be lonely. I don't want to be unhappy. I don't want to be sick. I don't want to stuck up with the job. I don't want, I don't like my mother or father. So these are all the affirmations that you are saying to yourself that you don't want. Thinking that if you say that like this and you will get the better life, which is the old belief. The self-criticism is just your mind retaining that old belief. So in this, in the whole sentences, you are talking about what you don't want. So you are releasing that thought, unhappy, sick, uh, struck, these kind of negative thoughts you are releasing to the universe. So this won't help friends. Whenever you are releasing a negative thoughts to the universe, only the negative will come to you. You think that if you are releasing this kind of things, and the negativity will go and you will get all the positive positive things. But it won't work that way. Because when you are releasing a negative thoughts or negative words from your mind or thoughts, only the negative things will get attracted. Okay. So you should not use any negative affirmations when you are, when you are starting affirming. <clears throat> if you are in the self-denial mode, and if you say that I don't like to be fat, I don't like my face, I don't like my nose, I don't want this way. So these are all self-denial, right? So when you are self-denial, you can't do anything better because you are already hating yourself. You are already criticizing yourself. So what we want first is acceptance, friends. You accept yourself. You love yourself. Once you are self-love, once you adapted your self-love and self-acceptance, then you can start beginning to see the new things, new way of your life in, in the in future, right? So lack of limitations, don't think the lack are the limitations. So always think what is the positive within you, okay? So good begins only accepting that you are within oneself. And loving that you are with you, you are what you are. It took it may took for a while to develop a peaceful and loving relationship with yourself. I agree because in all these days you are hating, right? You are hating, you are criticizing, you are self criticizing all these days. So it may take some some time, but it is not impossible. So list out all the good qualities in you. Okay. Don't say that I have all the good qualities. That is an, again arrogance, right? So list out all good qualities in you and try to work on them. Like, so what are the good qualities? You may think that is not so good qualities. Whatever the good qualities you have, you write it. So this gives the prosperity, love and it creates a self-expression. So you are expressing yourself. Like, so even though you say they are not good enough, but write down those are the good qualities within you, then you will develop. So once you are saying that I am so helpful, I am so kind, I am so compassionate, I can help others in the, at the time of need, I can cook good food. So like whatever the qualities that you have it, you try to write down. So when you are actually affirming yourself with all the good qualities, the good flow, the universe, you are releasing all good to universe and universe flows that all the good, good to your life. Here I'll give you an example, which is a um, very good example. You can say this, there's a tomato plant, right? Then a healthy tomato plant can give you the hundreds of tomo 100 tomatoes, let us say, okay? A good healthy tomato plant is giving you 100 tomatoes. How does, where does that tomato plant journey is starting? If you say that it is starting with a little one dried seed. When you are giving that dried seed, when you are actually keeping in the fertile land or fertile soil, it started to sprout. 
so when you are actually seeing that sprout even if you tomato plant if some if somebody says that it is a tomato plant you believe it otherwise it won't smell like tomato or it won't look like tomato you don't know what what exactly is it somebody gave you or you bought it in you have to believe that that's a tomato plant am i right so then you are actually keeping that in the fertile land and when it comes the plant comes does that plant whenever it is sprouting does it look like tomato does the plant look like tomato no right so friends are you stamping on the plant no you are not looking like tomato you are not stamping right what are you doing you are pouring enough water and you are giving a enough sunshine so you are you are saying that oh boy the plant sprouted is it not so it it came here it comes and you you are actually getting excited so when it, this is all then when you are pouring the water and then coming out what are you doing actually when it comes out then you are enjoying it right and you are enjoying that means once it comes to the good healthy plant it may give 100 or more than 100 tomatoes you are all enjoying those things so if you stamp in the beginning of the place then you may not get all the tomatoes okay they, they similarly our life starts our life is a creating a new experiences for yourself how you can create the new experiences you have to the soil is your subconscious mind you have to plant all the seeds in your subconscious mind if you have to seed within itself the seed what is the seed new affirmation you are so good you will get it you can you, you can get all the things that is a new affirmations whole new experience in your mind you are good enough you are capable you are um, uh, you, you can get all the things that is the new affirmations that you have to make and you water you water it with the affirmations in the subconscious mind you have to water with the uh, sub with all the affirmations you let the sunshine what is the sunshine here all positive thoughts once way you are saying that i am capable and i can do it another side can i do it is it possible for me that is a doubt on you don't fear don't take any any doubt on it so you, there is no doubt so once you seed it and once you give the sunshine is the positive thoughts be man it in the subconscious mind which is a soil and you are putting all the affirmations which are the seeds and you are giving a sunshine which are the positive thoughts so the weed of the garden what is the weed in the garden in the tomato plants if the weed comes you are plucking and taking away so here in your sub in, in your mind so what is the weed the weed is negative thoughts that fear the doubt is a negative thoughts you pull out all the negative thoughts and keep away okay then without any evidence even the tiniest evidence of the negative thoughts you pull out and keep, keep away then the it the breakthrough will happen the one positive thing that happened in your life you say that oh boy my positive affirmations are working it's coming up when the tomato planting is sprouting how you will enjoy similarly you say that oh boy it is working so be enjoy for whatever the small thing that it comes okay so now to use the positive affirmations in our life we have to take care of three things friends one is your body one is your mind and the other one is your spirit so v means i means i am consisting of body mind and spirit you body mind and spirit so we have to take care of all the three areas if you are forgetting one area and focusing the one more there is no use friends so we have to take all the three areas at one go so we have to know the so when we are taking the body first so body so what we have to take we have to see what nutrition that we need right we have to learn the relationship between our choice of food and beverages how they affect what we feel what are the best choices that we can make to our body we have to see we have to explore the things and we have to see what are the best qualities that we can make and do you need some exercise yes right so what is the exercise that you can make what exercise you can do do you want some yoga kind of thing or do you want some uh, uh, some uh stretching kind of thing or swimming or dancing or kum uh, or uh, thai choi or martial arts whatever the choice of that that you may make it right whatever it pleases you whatever you can do consistently you choose that one 
and then uh, well, you you should love when you are taking that choice right you should love doing it that and you should feel relaxed while doing that you should not get stressed out while you are doing your exercise and uh, take some body massage so often you take some body massage foot reflexology or acupuncture or a chiropractic work which is beneficial for your body as well as mind because mind will also get relaxed with all these things are reiki therapies for your body work all those things you can choose and then that is your body then the second part is your mind how to take care of your mind so mind also we have so many techniques like um jasalt and hypo um, hyponesis rebirthing rebirth uh, rebirthing or psychodrama or past life regressions these are all the mind work that you can do why it has happened you can you can uh, do any of this work or even the dream work also can work on your mind so the best method is meditation meditation is the only form that is that works wonderful way you keep quiet you switch off your mind for some time and know yourself knowing the own so it comes to the uh, where you are about exactly what you are you, you are able to in the mind when you are switching off your mind and doing the meditation you can you can travel within yourself you just sit close eyes closed and then focus Do, don't let any any thoughts come to your mind if you feel that there is some some thoughts are coming then let them flow don't try to resist let them flow don't give the importance to that thought and let them come and let them flow in that okay so that is the way that how you can do for your mind then it is for your spirit spirit how you are going to this is this is the third affirmation right the spirit how you prayer usually we all know that we we can sit god prayer all those things right are connecting to your higher self we know that the higher self is above our uh, head and you can always um, get connected with your higher self for the better advices we are not actually listening you and usually the people say that we are only using the two percent of what higher self is guiding us imagine that if you are meditating properly and if we can take the guidance of the higher self um, whole hundred percent how wonderful person you can become so this is the third way third way the in this way you can take body mind and spirit you have to work all the three uh, on on all the three um, not only just going for the, the to take the spiritual group means not only just going for the church or a temple you can also do your self realization uh, workshops and meditation or just any kind of meditation that you feel you are comfortable you can take it and how you can actually learn or reinforce this uh, affirmations right what are the whatever the affirmations that we took how you can reinforce and how to do it write down your affirmations say out loud your affirmation sing make a song and sing your affirmations express the gratitude take the time to relax and do exercise sitting in a meditation or a prayer enjoy your exercise practice good nutrition use visualization and mental imaginary and read are studying reading are study these are all the things that you can do to take care of your body mind and spirit by practicing any or as many as of all these uh, things that i mentioned just now your results will work absolutely fine you will be amazed how the results are getting uh, how the results are working friends in this way i'll make i'm i'm sure that you will be able to get what you what you want you believe in yourself you believe the positive affirmation will the po- affirmations will work that itself is a tragic affirmation that you are making so don't that do believe in yourself saying that affirmations will work okay so just to, to so before i end of this particular video we will just give few points in order to make sure that all these things works for you because in all the previous chapters we have learned so many topics and so many positive affirmations for yourself now make affirmations as a part of your life it is not that 21 days i am doing and forgetting no every day whatever you are doing you have to remember that this i learned i have to make a suppose if you are feeling sick today let us take oh i don't want to get sick that's not at all an affirmation think that something came some this is came to my body i am accepting a good health i'll be all right okay you wrote an exam and came out oh am i will i get the pass mark will i get an a grade no i i did my good 
I did best of me and I'll get my best grade. So always affirm that you will always get the best of your life. Trust the process of your life, friends. When you, you are thinking that the, when you are excelling your breath, the next breath is there. How much you are trusting the next breath is there? You are actually taking it granted, right? Not you. We are all taking it a granted. Similarly, trust the process of life. The life will give you the best things. Make this positive affirmations as a part of your life. Cursing is an affirmation. Don't curse anybody. Worrying is an affirmation and hatred is an affirmation. If you hate, suppose, while you are driving a car, if you are hating the uh, bad drivers, then you are actually cursing that bad drivers. You are actually getting attracted all the bad drivers. So don't curse it. So in the, in the driving, when you are driving, you have to affirm that I, I'm safe. I'm safely driving and all my other, other people also safely driving. So you, you make that affirmation. So you will attract all the good only. Love. Pra practice love. Love all. Practice love. Practice appreciation. Practice a gratitude. Whenever you see somebody, appreciate with something that you like in him. Instead of saying that what you don't like, right? Uh, use the words, appreciation words. And gratitude. For every small thing, show your gratitude. Tell it out loud. And and compliment the people. These are also the affirmations because when you are practicing love, you will get love in return. When you are practicing appreciation, you will get appreciation in return. When you are gratitude, you, know, you, you are showing your gratitude in return. When you are complimenting, you will get it. When you complain, you will get the complaint in return. So don't do that negative affirmations in your life. This is the once all the affirmations work. Let us take, you, you made an affirmation and it worked in your life. Then what you have to do? You have to release them. Okay, you just have to release them and move on what next you want it, right? Just release them to the, uh, uh, if it is, work. and even before it works also, once you affirm yourself, you have to release to the universe to work. In order to work, you have to release to the universe. Universe, the law of life will bring them to you. When you are releasing to the universe, the law of life will bring them to you suppose if i want something uh, and you just release the thought to the universe you out loud you sing a song you out loud say and you are releasing that to the universe and the universe will bring back that to you because the laws of life will work because it will make it how it makes it it is not your job your job is make a positive affirmation and release to the universe and it will come back to you it is not your job to figure out how these affirmation will bring back to you Okay, you forget about the old beliefs. Believe strongly that you, you once you re release the affirmations, it is coming back with all the good thing. No matter how wonderful the present moment is, think that the future will be still more fulfilling, still more joyous. Okay, whatever this moment will pass by. So enjoy this moment and then it will pass by and Trust the life that tomorrow will be the better day. Tomorrow will be the more fulfilling day. The future is more fulfilling day. Is it possible? Is it possible to do all these things? Yes, right? Friends, it is possible. I can do it. You can do it. If I can do it and I can make my life better, you can do it. If you can do it, somebody else can do it. Every one of us can do these affirmations and we can change our life. We can be happy. Just trust the process of life and think that everything, you just release all the positive thoughts, positive affirmations to the universe and it is the law of life. That is the work of law of life which brings back to you all the positive things that you released. Okay, whatever you release, it comes back. So, while releasing the thought, while releasing the word to the universe, always be careful what you need. Okay, friends, it is possible, right? You are with me? So now starts the new you from tomorrow onwards or from now onwards you don't be like the old belief you be with the new belief whatever you do you do only the positive affirmations whatever you are thinking you think only the positive affirmations all the good will come to you this is an end of our 21 day of positive affirmations by Louis Hay we will come up with one more topic in the next video until then Thank you, thank you, thank you friends.